Okay, the first thing we're going to create a texture for is this holographic projector and we're going to go for a coloured polished plastic sort of look um, a little bit like Apple would have done five years ago on, on the IMAX we're going to have that kind of nice reflective look on it um, so the first thing I'm going to do is just press F to frame that up <coughs> make sure it's in the middle of my view and then I have to open the hypershade which is where you make your materials in Maya <coughs> so to do that I'm going to click on window I'm going to go to saved layouts and I'm going to choose hypershade slash persp uh, which is the view I like to use for this and if you're lucky enough you'll have that view down here all ready to go if your screen makes things fit when you open it up it'll go side by side there's perspective there's your hypershade now the first thing you need to do is make sure you've got your create tab selected and make sure that you're um, showing your Maya nodes here as well and then you should see anisotropic uh, blin, hair tube shader, lambert etc etc all down here, they're the ones that you need, they're what we're going to be using um, <clears throat> and so we're going to start by creating a new texture now what you need to make note of is that there are these three here um, the most important as far as we're concerned is lambert 1 this is your default material, that is this grey that everything already has, if you change that or delete it there will be nothing on and then if you try and do any uh, preview renders nothing will show up so you should always try and leave that alone okay to create a new one you just need to click on what you want so for this one we're going to create a blin which um, as you can see from the little preview of it it's got a little bit of shininess to it so I'm going to click on that and there you go in my work area I can see blin beautiful now what I need to do is give that a colour <coughs> but there's no option to do that um, or not the option that I want in the channel box which is what we've been using so far I need the attribute editor okay so to get that open what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit control and A on the keyboard and that then opens up this and this is where I can change all the attributes for anything within Maya so I've got blin one selected I'm gonna rename that projector but then I'm going to put a capital M at the end so that I know that that's a material if I need to look later and make sure you hit enter at the moment it still thinks it's called Bloom 1 press enter and it changes it on this tab and then what we need to do is give it a colour um, which is nice and easy so I'm going to go into the colour swatch here and I'm going to go nice and um, oh apparently I want to save it I'm going to go nice and sci-fi about this I'm going to let a little bit of purple creep in I think um, and we'll go for that sort of shade nice and dark so here is my preview of what I've just made um, and that's nice news that's now created now to assign that to the shape uh, which is just here what I'm going to do is I'm going to find it from my materials window and then I'm going to click and hold with my middle mouse button I'm going to drag to the shape and then I'm going to release and that has now applied that texture even in this preview you can see it's got a nice little bit of shininess going on which is what we're looking for when we add the advanced render settings to it later it'll also reflect what's in the room which is why we've used the blend for this one okay so that has created that first texture in the next video we will create a texture uh, for the sun